Today I want to talk about IT strategy for small and medium sized businesses. It's important to remember that small and medium sized businesses studying using computers in their finance department with a handful of computers if any. And as time went by, the usage of computer and different applications grew rapidly in each organization. So a small company that used to have three or four computers back in the mid 90s in there by uh, early 2000s, we were there using 50 computers in a network. Without having a strategy for their IT, without any proper network monitoring and management, a backup and disaster recovery. The great thing about computers is they're fairly reliable. They do a lot of work for a company. However, when catastrophic failures occur, the downtime and the expenses are tremendous. Last study down in the US for small organizations, each downtime was estimated about $12,000. Those numbers can add up very quickly. It is important to have an IT strategy to make sure that your network is properly protected. Your downtime are reduced or eliminated. Your risk is assessed and you have a good disaster recovery plan in place. An IT strategy should consist of a good proactive and reactive management of an IT, an appropriate budget, a good backup and disaster recovery. Most downtimes can be prevented. Anytime there is a small issue in a network, there are usually log and indicators well in advance before the problem becomes a huge downtime issue. A good IT system will allow the system administrators to be alerted about any problems before they become a huge downtime. And that is a key to reducing or eliminating downtime and to reducing your risk. It is important to remember that if a key component of a network fails, your organization could be without a job for hours or days at times. Let me give you a simple example how something very small can cause a major downtime on a network and how it is totally preventable. Let's assume a small network of 25 computers and a server. Each computer will have a certain number of cooling systems in place from heat sinks to fans and they are key because most electronic equipment will behave erratically if they go over or below a certain temperature range. A fan and a server can stop working after a couple years or a few years for a variety of different reasons. A business class server has a lot of technology built into it that allows for the monitoring of every single component such as health of fan, health of power supply, the, the, the temperature of the CPU, health of the hard disk more importantly, all of these things. And if somebody is actually proactively managing these things, they will see that the fan speed is, is, is going below the regular threshold. So before that fan stops, somebody can be on site and replace it. Because if that fan goes down, that server will crash left, right, and center without you knowing. Another great example of that is hard drives. The hard disk on a server is the most critical area of each network. All the user data, all the critical data for an organization are stored on that server. So they need to be protected properly. A business class server will have a te technology in there that will allow a system administrator to look at the health of that hard drive. So if there are any inconsistencies in that hard drive and their alerts are registered, uh, somebody can be on site before the network goes down and replace a hard drive, recreate the redundancies required to ensure that downtimes don't happen. We all do backups and disaster recovery planning in hope that we never have to use them. One of the biggest budget in an IT department is this backup and disaster recovery. A good disaster recovery takes in factor major catastrophic failures uh, or a small data losses. A small data losses is a user lose a file. Uh, major catastrophe is uh, when a server or the whole uh, building goes down. And you have to make sure that you're prepared or you, at least you know your risks. A good backup and disaster recovery is the one that has an on-site and off-site component whereby if your site goes down, your data is still protected. It is also important that backup logs are monitored on a regular daily basis. More importantly, 
backup need to be tested. So at a regular interval, those backup need to be mounted. You gotta make sure that that backup has proper integrity and is restorable.